guys, I've got a fun video for you today. I thought I would talk about my, the, my favorites, <laughs> my favorites of my favorites. Let me explain. So I feel like there's always these um, specific products that I really, really enjoy. And I thought I would share with you my favorites of those things. So for example, uh, shimmery taupe eyeshadows. <laughs> I feel like I'm always talking about how much I love shimmery taupe eyeshadows. So I thought I would talk about uh, my favorites in that particular category. I love like a bright red orange lipstick. So I thought I'd show you uh, my favorites of those. Um, I love like really balmy, lightly pigmented, um, like milky colored lip products. I thought I would show you those. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. And I thought I would do this vlog style because, you know, I have a lot. I didn't wanna kind of limit myself to like, I'm gonna, you know, tell you like my five favorite shimmery taupe eyeshadows because there's really so many. Um, and then I may not even have that much in another sort of one of my favorites. And I didn't wanna like just kind of throw stuff in there just to make five. So anyway, I thought I'd make this casual, make it kind of like vlog style. Um, and yeah, let's, let's go ahead and start with shimmery taupe eyeshadows. So as you guys know, I am really just a complete and total sucker for shimmery taupe shades. And uh, there's just, for me, it's just such a versatile shade. I can use it as a one and done. It's a great like center of your lid shade. If you have something lighter, something darker, it's like just a great transition in that sense. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start with my top drawer here, which has a lot of my uh, potted kind of cream shadows. And the first one that comes to mind is the Victoria Beckham Lid Luster in mink. Now this is probably a very warm kind of taupe. It is um, more of like a brown shade. It, it's not quite as, um, <laughs> I almost said it's not quite as taupey as a taupe, but it's not quite as um, taupey as a taupe. So let me just show you what this shade looks like. Yeah, this is definitely more of a brown, but I'm gonna just mention this one because it ha I'm gonna try and catch the light here. In the light, in a certain light, the reflect in it is a taupe. It's kind of silvery. And so in some lights, I feel like this comes off taupe -y. And so this is definitely one that I love. It's a really complex shade. Do you see how like the base tone of it, like where it blends out is almost a little peachy? It's just, Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So there's some warmth to it, but then again, like I was saying in the light, it catches there. It catches some of the taupe, taupeness. <laughs> so this is definitely one of my favorite uh, taupey taupe shades. The other taupe shade in here that I've really been loving, this is kind of at the other spectrum from the Lid Luster. This is Pewter from Jones Road. And this one is, um, a little bit, it, well, it's a lot cooler toned than that Lid Luster, but I would say this is closer to a typical taupe than that mink shade. Let me do a swatch of this. So there is pewter. So I would describe, or how I think of taupe is sort of like a warm gray or cool toned, like medium brown. It's that really interesting, like kind of neutral to cool toned, mid tone shade. So this is Pewter from Jones Road. It's just beautiful. Isn't that so pretty? So that's another kind of favorite taupey shade of mine. And then let's move down to this. Oh boy, there's gonna be a lot in here. Uh, let, me, let me not drag this out too far. Oh yeah, okay. So Chantecai has these gorgeous Le Chrome Luxe Eye Duos. That's not the right one. And there is a duo called Tibet. And both of these shades, I feel like are beautiful taupes. This is like a dark, and this is a light. Let me do swatches of these two. So there is Tibet. I guess the dark one is too warm to be considered taupe, um, but the lighter one is a gorgeous taupe shade. Isn't that beautiful? 
Oh, that is definitely one. And I feel like I'm seeing these Le Chrome Lux Duos from Chantecai kind of being restocked again. So that's very, very exciting because um, I love, love, love the formula of those. And now I'm going through my Dior singles because there is one <laughs> in here that is such a gorgeous taupe. Hang on one second, let me, let me find it. Number 658. Beige Mitza, it's a metallic finish. And isn't that so beautiful? So this is definitely like a warmer kind of taupe there. And I think what makes me kind of refer to it as a taupe, it's much like the lid luster. The sheen of it is a cool sheen. So in some lights, you get, wow, I swatch this like in the worst place ever. You get a, um, like a cool there. You get like a cool sheen to it. Oh, that is just incredible. So that's Beige Mitza from Dior. Oh, and then in my Clay de Po quad here, I think this one is called Satin Moon. This shade right next to the deep gunmetal shade, this one is a gorgeous taupe also. So, so pretty. Sorry, I feel like there's no direct light on me, so <laughs> you're not getting the sheen really, but that's a gorgeous taupe as well. So that is in Clay de Po's Satin Moon. And then this shade from the Viseart Kashmiri palette. Oof, this is stunning. I had to wipe my hand off because it was just becoming overwhelming. But look at that. Gorgeous. I love that so much. So that's from Viseart Kashmiri. Is there an actual shade name? I think on the box there is. It's called Retro. That's the name of this particular shade. And then from the Natasha Denona Glam Palette, there's actually a few, but I would say if I had to pick out like the one rock solid taupe in here, it would be this guy right over here. Let's do a swatch. So here's Natasha Denona. This one is much cooler toned, you can see, than the Kashmiri. This is almost like a perfect taupe. Oof. Gorgeous. Okay, let's move down. Let's see if there are any other taupes that just kind of pop out at me. I don't think so. Nothing else really pops out at me in that drawer. No, I was gonna say maybe this one, but mm -mm. that one not really. I think there's one in this palette. Well, I was gonna say this one too. No, that's like a little bit too dark. There's almost like a little bit of purpley in there. I don't think that counts as a taupe. That's it. Pat McGrath has a lot of pink and warm tones going on. Okay, let's move down here. Definitely from Dior, as you guys know, the soft cashmere palette. This guy right up here, this is such a good taupe. This is like a deeper taupe, but this is perfect. So there is the soft cashmere one. Oh, look at these. God, I love these shades. And then we have these newer Tom Ford palettes. I would call this one a taupe for sure. There's that shade. Gorgeous. So this is from the Metal Lust quad. We also have this shade in Rose Topaz. This one is a little bit sheerer than the Metal Lust one. That's gonna be hard for you to see in this lighting. But this is really really gorgeous it's just a light touch of a shade um, and that of course reminds me of the giraffe quartet from Chantecai, where this shade i don't even know if i would call this a taupe because it has a little bit of lilac in it so that's the giraffe one yeah i feel like there's almost enough lilac in this one for it to be not in the taupe family. So, so note to that one. So in the Tom Ford metallic denim, this was not one of my favorite quads, um, but this shade up here is a really pretty taupe shade. It is, as you can see, like a little bit khakier than these guys. You know, it's like a little bit of a warmer taupe but I would still consider that one a taupe. So that is in metallic denim. Oops. 
here in New Dip, this is a great taupe too. This is uh, like a lighter taupe than the other ones. Here, I'll swatch it. Oh, I'm running out of room again. I'll swatch it right here. So there is Nude Dip. Here's Double Indemnity, and I was gonna swatch this one, but it's, it's too silvery. It almost has like a green to it. Let me swatch it anyway. Um, so I wouldn't really consider this taupe. I think you can see how uh, green it is, especially compared to these other ones. I, th I feel like for me to consider this a taupe, it would have to be a little bit more like brown in there. Okay, one last taupe. Let me just put these away. But one last taupe that I really love is in the Byredo palette, this one, Corporate Colors. Yeah, this color right here. So this one is, um, here, let me swatch it. It's almost like a peachy taupe. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. It has such a beautiful, like, sheen. And yeah, I love how it gets, like, kind of coolish gray. And then there's peach in there. Really, really pretty. So that's in the Corporate Colors by Rado Quint. And that, I think, is the last, well, that's definitely enough shimmery taupes that I have and really, really love. All right, next, let's talk about red orange, bright red orange lipsticks. You guys know how much I enjoy them. Um, the more pigmented, the better, and I have quite a few of them. So uh, let's go through my collection and I'll kind of point out my favorites. Okay, now I opened up this drawer specifically for the Jimmy Choo, shade number 604, Coral Kiss. This color, I, I remember when I first tried this on, this just blew my socks off. The amount of pigmentation, how smooth the formula is, and how perfectly red orange it was. I, like, it was love at first sight. So that is definitely one I wanted to point out to you guys. Coral Kiss, Jimmy Choo. Another one that comes to mind, of course, is one of the Armani Lip Powers, which still is like one of my all-time favorite formulas of all time. This is shade number 301. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. I think the name of this color is Friendly, which I think is so funny. But this one is just, do you see how it's just a little bit more orangey than the Jimmy Choo? This one also has like gold flecks in there. Oof, so gorgeous. So that is another favorite of mine. Another favorite of mine is the Louboutin like Kiss Kiss. Wow, my memory sucks. But anyway, <laughs> I love, love, love this shade and this formula. This formula is probably the most moisturizing formula I have ever come across. Isn't that, oh, it's stunning. It's even a little bit more peachy than the Armani. So that is the Louboutin. Let's go down to my next lipstick drawer here. And, okay, the one that pops out to me in here is the La Perla, is it this one? The La Perla 104. Ooh, <laughs> so, so good. And these were marketed as a matte lipstick, but they're, they're not, I don't think they are. They're very, very creamy. And look at that pigmentation. Ooh, I think out of all of these, this one is like the most neon in a way. It's the one that like glows the most. So that is number 104 from La Perla. Oh, I just love that one. I do love Frangipani from uh, Chantecaille. This is their lip veil, but this was limited edition. I don't know if this is still around, but this is a gorgeous one. This is a really, really bright one. Let me just swatch it. Not quite as pigmented as the others, and you can see it's like similar to the Louboutin where it's like a little bit more peachy. Like there's a little bit more pink in there. Uh, but that's the Frangipani, which is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, here's another incredible one. This is from Byredo. This is La Flame. And this is like more of like a burnt orange. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Do you see how it's like a little bit of a rustier orange than the rest of these? It's so funny. This first Jimmy Choo one, 
that I swatched. It now looks almost like a blue red because the other ones next to it are so much more orange. But yeah, this one is like kind of like a it has like more of a burnt orange feel to it. And of course, we've got Victoria Beckham's Fire. This is Fire. And it's very similar, I think, to the Jimmy Choo. There's a little bit more red than orange in it, but gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. And I think last but not least, Gucci's Agatha Orange. This is probably the most orange one I have. Let me see. I'm gonna swatch it. Let me swatch it here. Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious. This one is like just straight up orange. This is the most rusty kind of dirty orange, but this is the most orange. Yeah, I think La Perla is still the one that like glows the most though. So yeah, I think that is it in terms of oranges that are not part of limited editions except for the Chantecaille. Okay, next up, I feel like I'm always talking about how I love um, like, like balmy, milky kind of uh, lip products. And by that, I mean lip products that are pretty translucent. Um, and then they have just a sort of like light pink or white, uh, like very, very slight kind of tint to them. And so they end up leaving this kind of like milkiness over your lips. And I have to say, I was not the biggest fan of it. I feel like when um, I first started YouTube, I wanna say like five years ago, uh, but it's just grown on me. There's something about that finish when you put it on your lips. I feel like that really makes your lips look very plump. Um, it almost is like a filter for your lips. Like even if it doesn't plump up every single line and wrinkle in your lips, it gives the illusion. Um, so yeah, I've just really, really fallen in love with that type of lip product. And I have a lot, I was just kind of going through them. So I, I can't talk about all of these because I really have a lot, especially when you throw in lip gloss because lip gloss, there's a lot of milky lip glosses out there. So um, I will talk about a few though. Um, this Clay de Poe lip gloss, is that what it's called? No, it's the Radiant, yeah, Radiant Lip Gloss. Um, this is in the shade number one, Rose Quartz. And you know, I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna um, swatch these because you will be able to see them on my hands. But this is probably one of the first products that I picked up that had this kind of like milkiness to it. And um, I remember thinking like, oh, am I really gonna like purchase something that is almost, it's like the emperor's new clothing. Like, can you even really see it on your lips? But it makes just like that subtle difference that obviously I've fallen in love with since. So yeah, this was like the first milky product that I really, really fell in love with. So that's the Radiant Lip Gloss in Rose Quartz. And then this product, this is the Day Corte. I know it's shade SP050. I don't know the name of this. Anyway, this is what it looks like. And it's that exact shade. There's a little bit of like a pearly sheen, a few little like micro, micro, micro glitters in there. And I, yeah, this is just one of those products. I just feel like you put it on and like, it just makes your lips glow. Actually, I have a little bit of stone, but it's probably gone. These also make like really great lip toppers or if you wanna just pair it with a like lip liner, so good. So this is SP050 from Decorte. Isn't that just so pretty? <laughs> so that is another one. That one I've had for a long time. Um, this one, I think this is probably the newest one to my collection. This is the YSL uh, Rouge Volup Candy Glaze, and I got it in shade two. And this is an incredibly, incredibly soft, soft formula. And this one is, um, it just has like a little bit of milkiness. There's no like uh, sheen to it or like pearly sheen or anything. There's no like teeny tiny micro glitters. So this is really nice. It's sort of like, I don't know, like an amped up lip balm. Um, so that is one that I've really been enjoying. It feels great, really, really great on the lips. This one is another kind of more recent one. This is Dreamy White from Chanel. This uh, is a Rouge Coco Balm, uh, shade number 912, Dreamy White. And yeah, it almost looks like one of those medicated, <laughs> medicated lip balms like Blistex or something, but um, it does leave like a really beautiful sheen. There's like teeny tiny 
micro glitters in there. So it does some, it's a little bit whiter than this decorate, but it had, you know, like a very similar effect. Um, this is a really, really good one. And these are probably my favorite, like milky Chanel Rouge Coco glosses. So eight of four, you guys know, I love, love, love. It obviously does not come out quite this pink on your lips. It's a little bit more milky. I have to think of a better word. Um, and this one is incredibly milky on the lips. This one is 726. So these are great. And I love the Chanel formula for their glosses. Just really, really nice. Just a hint of stickiness, but not, not sticky at all. That's not how I would describe them. Really lovely formula. Okay. Now we're in my lip gloss drawer. I mean, there really is just too many to name, um, but let me see if there are any that really stand out to me. Um, oh, well, you guys know how much I've been loving these Make Beauty lip serums. I think that's what they're called. This one is Halo Moon, and then they have Nude Nova. So Halo Moon is, it's a little bit milkier than um, Nude Nova, but there's also a little bit of iridescence to it. And Nude Nova is like more nude, but it definitely looks a little bit uh, milkier on the lips than that appears. Um, so those are really great if you're looking for like kind of a milky look to your lips. Okay, I think that's it for like milky lip products. I'm sure there's more. Let me think what other favorites I'm always talking about. Okay, so we're sticking with lip products. I feel like I'm always talking about my favorite um, or how much I love cool toned lipsticks. So I thought I would share with you um, some of my favorite cool toned lipsticks. And <laughs> I'm always talking about how they give you that kind of like corpse like appearance that I really enjoy. But um, yeah, there's just something like subtly dramatic about a cool tone lip, especially if you use one that's uh, like a nude kind of cool tone lip. I guess that's what I'm talking about, a cool toned, deep, dark lip color is not uh, something I wear often uh, or would ever, whatever, I'm trying to think of like a cool, like a really dark gray lipstick or super, super dark purple lipstick. Maybe I would wear a dark purple lipstick, but these are more of like the lighter cool toned lipsticks. Whatever, let's just get into it. So back in my lipstick drawer here, one company that makes fantastic, fantastic cool toned lipsticks is Gucci. So they have a ton of like browns in their line, nudes in their line. And uh, there's just so many cool toned nudes. This one is a Royal Scandal. Can you see how cool toned it is? It is like a brown with just, just a bit of gray in there. Oh, it's so like, grungy and dramatic looking. So that is one from Gucci. Here's another one. This one is Tasty Hazel. And this is definitely a brown. It's, can you see it's warmer than a Royal Scandal, but it's still fairly cool toned. There's a little bit of gray in there. So that is Tasty Hazel. Here's another one. This one is Cimarron. Let's watch that up here. So cool toned, it's like a cool, um, a deeper version of a Royal Scandal. This is Cimarron. So this is Cimarron, a Royal Scandal, and Tacy Hazel. Um, some other cool tones that I love are from Serge Luten. And, oh my God, these little, <laughs> these little lipsticks that like fall into my acrylic organizers here. Um, but this one is shade number 12. You see how cool toned that is? Why isn't my camera? There we go. This is number 12. Let's swatch this. That is such a great cool tone. There's even like a hint of mauve in there. Oh, just love it. So that's number 12. And then this one is number 25. This one I probably could have talked about with the, um, milky lipsticks because this one is kind of balmy. Yeah, I should have mentioned this with the milky one, but yeah, it kind of gives your lips like this cool tone. It's like a cool tone peach, which almost sounds like an oxymoron, but yeah, it's really, really pretty. Yeah, so that is number 25. And I had a third 
Serge Luten lipstick, but I wore it out one night. It was in my bag and I think, I think it's actually underneath my driver's seat in my car. I think it fell out of my bag and like between the console and my seat. Anyway, <laughs> I have a third one. Um, don't know where it is, but Serge Luten in general, much like Gucci, great, great cool tones. You know, and then I had some great cool tones from Pat McGrath, but that whole line is discontinued. So not even gonna go down that path. It's very, very sad. It's very depressing. I think that's it. It's really hard to find nice, cool toned um, colors. They're usually just a lot warmer or they're neutral. Um, I think because it does, <laughs> does kind of make you look corpse-like, but I, I just, I really like that look, you know, in terms of something a little bit more um, dramatic. That's what I really like to go for. Yeah, I have to say that is probably it. Isn't that funny? That is probably it. I think the rest of them, like I was just looking at my posh lipsticks from Victoria Beckham, even the ones that I thought were cool, they're not really, they're still like neutral in tone as opposed to them actually crossing over into actually being cool. Um, and then like the Wayne Goss ones are all fairly neutral or warm leaning. Um, yeah. Yeah, everything is like either neutral or warm leaning, which I guess is like traditionally a little bit, you know, more, I don't know, appealing looking on the lips, but yeah, interesting. Oh wait, let's look at this nude palette from Westman Atelier. Yeah, the two cool tones here are kind of just pinky. This one's a mauve, this one's a pink. This one is a nude. I would say this one's fairly neutral in tone. Yeah, I don't know if I would call that cool toned at all. That's just kind of like a neutral camely brown. Oh, okay, one last one. Actually, we'll see what this looks like compared to the rest of these. So Kosas has a lip color called Vegas, which I remember when I used it, I remember thinking it was cool toned, but I feel like next to, yeah, next to these actual very cool tone shades, it comes off like really warm, but it's probably, I would say, neutral. It's just next to like a Royal Scandal, which is really cool toned. It looks, wow, isn't that incredible? It looks so warm next to it, but yeah, I don't know if in the tube you can tell. It's more of like a neutral shade. So interesting, right? So yeah, I think that's it in terms of like cool toned lipsticks I wanted to point out to you guys. So Gucci and Serge Luten definitely are winners in that category. So I think that's it. I, I think, I'm sure there's other things that <laughs> I'm always talking about, like, I don't know, like a glowy blush or something, but I feel like those are some products that I'm always talking about how much I like them and I'm always, I'm like purchasing them over and over again, especially bright red orange lipstick. Um, but if there's other, you know, favorite types of products that I like that you would like to kind of see me flesh out a little bit on the channel, let me know down below in the comment section. But I hope you found that fun. I think it's always fun just to kind of, I don't know, go through my collection and just kind of randomly talk about makeup without anything too structured. So give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.